All right, folks, as I mentioned on my latest, latest, latest video, you know, that I published yesterday, as soon as we got the news about Russia invading Ukraine, you know, I just kind of prepared people, you know, people are investors, people having owning stock, especially AMC, because as always, we have two scenarios. Either, you know, as the market was predicting or was shaping to have a bloody red day, which kind of was the case but as also as i mentioned yesterday it was a little bit of an overreaction because the market already digested since four or five days this invasion all right and as you can see the market actually recovered pretty 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 good especially the tech sector you know and we're going to talk about that maybe in a later video that i'm going to post today but as far as amc is concerned this is something we should be actually excited about especially with what i'm going to share with you in just a second because the fact that the market is actually pricing um or recovering it's precisely because well what we thought could be the worst is actually not as worse as we thought you know so when it comes to amc the fact that even when the market was still red this was already trending up like 4% and 5%, you know, and that's why I said we should be excited about it because this is not something usually you see with AMC. But also based on the fact that this trending, according to the market, look, the Russell 2000 is up 2.6%, which is a lot. And hence, AMC following, following suit. But what is even more interesting is that, well, UBS is now triggering margin calls as Russia bond values is cut to zero. Maybe you don't know exactly or don't understand, you know, properly what this could mean for stocks shorted as AMC. Well, two things. If you look at the Russian market, how it did today, Russian stocks crashed 33%. I mean, think about the S&P 500 dropping in a single day 33%. At the opening of the market session, at some point, it was 50% cut in half. This will be the end of... I mean, this would be chaotic if it would have happened here in the U.S. or even in, you know, um, Western countries. But the truth is, when you have the stock market plunging like this, well, it is likely, you know, obvious that the bond value will be going down, especially given the sanctions that President Biden give, I mean, uh, uh, impose on, on Russia banks, on the Russia debt, you know, so... People are freaking out, and that's why they are getting money out, out of Russia, stock market, bonds included. Now, how does it affect uh, uh, um, AMC and other short sellers? Here, UBS triggered margin calls on some wealth management clients that use Russia bonds as collateral for their portfolios after making down the value of debt issued by the country, by the country and its corporations. Let's see. The Swiss wealth manager is calling on some investors to add either cash or securities to their portfolio after cutting the lending value of some Russian bonds to zero. People with the knowledge of the matter said, while the sovereign bonds still trade around 50 cents on the dollar, 50% of their value, and many Russian corporate bonds are well above that, UBS move signals it essentially will no longer accept them as collateral. I don't even need to go down further into the article. This speaks volume for what you can expect coming back up, you know, with short sellers because if UBS, which is a wealth manager, all right, meaning they don't deal with the same type of clients as, you know, a Bank of America or uh, a Goldman Sachs or maybe a, Mary, a Morgan Stanley. Why? Because these have niche where the core business is and UBS ultimately is a wealth management you know, uh, 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 they manage highly net worth clients. So if at this level, they are already refusing to take the collateral, I mean, uh, Russian bonds as collateral for their investors and are triggering margin calls. I mean, what do you expect is going to happen for those short sellers, those high risky companies like Melvin or Citadel that are hugely aggressive on the market, especially on the short selling side of things, all right? Because when that happens, the next step is either you add some cash or <laughs> you add some securities. But with the market being so bipolar, with the market being such not really knowing what to where to go, today you might be up 3%, tomorrow you're down 4%, all right? But on top of that, you also have the Federal Reserve saying, hey, in 2020, the cash we're using 
to actually buy stocks or short stocks where the cash I was giving to you are. Now it's over, all right, because I'm about to increase interest rates. Maybe not to the extent I would expect it to be because of this Russia thing, but truth of the matter is Federal Reserve are still on track to interest, increase interest rate in, 20, I mean, in, in this coming March. So that money will now be taken out of pocket. And maybe that's why um, Citadel Ken Griffin is now looking to redeem the money he invested into Melvin Capital back in, in January. So uh, is this a coincidence? <laughs> I don't think so. I may be wrong, but I don't think so. So bottom line is expect, expect for short sellers margin calls to make their business a lot more difficult because either if you can't take money out of pocket and that by by out of pocket i mean out of the client's pocket will which would be definitely very uh, 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 chaotic for the clients and for the whole business of the company if they are you know in this position which i believe a bunch of them are then the next step will be okay i need to start for a covering i need to get out because it's tricky it's tricky. I don't want to get caught up in these uh, uh, market conditions, especially with AMC gaining 12% on such a day without a specific short seller covering. It means war is coming and uh, the bulls are looking for for your head. So it's, 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 it's now or never, right? So um, let's see how it unfolds.